Now, what we're doing with this video, is, which is a continuation now, is we're going about the process of trying to find out what the yield on this bond is. Now, what I'm about to show you is a, a little bit of a complicated board, but I uh, hope you follow along here. I don't think it's too complicated. Now, in the last video, we found that the yield to maturity, the approximate yield to maturity of the bond, was 9.59%. That's the approximate yield. Now, what we're going to want to do at the end of the day now is interpolate to find the yield on the bond. And you'll recall from interpolation in a previous video when I showed you how to do that, that you want to set up a pitchfork. Note that the top of the pitchfork now is the possible yields on the bond. And we know that this is 9% and this is 10% because we calculated the approximate yield to maturity and found it to be 9.59%, which simply tells us that the yield is somewhere between 9% and 10%. What you put on the downside of the prongs now is the price of the bond at the different yields. And so the first question is, what would be the price of this bond if the yields of maturity of the bond were exactly 9%? Now, as a student, you should know that any time the yield on the maturity, the yield of maturity on the bond is equal to the stated return on the bond, the bond will sell at face value. Now, that's what we call a bond pricing principle. And a bond pricing principle is something about a bond that's always true. So these are some of one of the bond pricing principles. If the, if the yield on the bond is greater than the stated return, the bond will always sell at a discount. That is the price would be something less than $1,000. If the yield on the bond is less than the stated return, the bond will always sell at a premium and is selling at a price greater than $1,000. And if the yield to maturity on the bond is the state is the same as the stated return, the bond will sell at face value, which in this case is $1,000. So when we ask ourselves if the yield on this bond were exactly 9%, what would be the price of the bond in the market? Well, if the yield were exactly equal to the stated return on the bond, the bond would sell at face value or $1,000. Is the yield on this bond exactly, 1, 000, uh, exactly 9%? No, because the price of the bond in the market is not what? It's not $1,000. So the yield on the bond can't be 9%. The next question is, what would be the price of the bond in the market if the yield were 10%? Well, to find that out now, you would simply plug 10% into the bond pricing formula that we learned in an earlier video. And in this case, this is a semi-annual bond. So I is going to be 5%, N is going to be 20, the number of payments. And if we figure all that out now, we get 937.70. So is the yield on the bond exactly 10%? Again, the answer is no, because the price of the bond in the market is not what? 937.70. So to set up our pitchfork now, we have to use possible yields on the upside of the problems, and then figure out what the price of the bond would be if that was the yield. In the next video now, we're going to kind of blow up this interpolation part of this thing here and, uh, and ask ourselves, what is the yield associated with $960? We'll figure that out in the next video.